Okay, so today's video is all about college. Now, hold before you exit out of this video. The only reason I'm doing this video is because I know how hard it is to have a search for colleges, even though I'm only a junior in high school. Um, now again, wait. This will be maybe a boring video for some of you, which probably half of you just exit out of this video. <laughs> but I've had people ask me different questions and concerns they had about college and getting scholarships and things like that. So today I'm just going to help you figure out how to do everything. Again, I'm no expert, but I've seen that these helped me a lot. So the first thing that you're going to be needing is pinboard, tax, and some paper. In pinboard, I have three different columns. Well, trying to be columns. And I have my colleges that I want to go to, scholarship guides, and my ACT, SAT guides. Woo! Okay, so where I got this, all these little posters and flyers from, I get colleges sending me mail all the time, and I bet you guys do too. Um, so I just look through these colleges and I look on their websites to see what I want to go into and then I just place it on the board. <laughs> okay, so my next, my second tip for y'all is this huge binder. So this is my like folder binder, it's not a binder, I don't even know what this thing is called. Um, it's this huge portfolio type thing. Woo! It's a filing thing. So you open it up here, and whoa, it's an accordion. So in here, I just keep my different things. I can't open this. So in here, I have tabs for almost everything. My first tab is scholarships. Um, this is just finding scholarships, tips on how to get scholarships, and things like that. My second tab is leadership. Now I'm just going to take this thing out for you guys. And as you can see, it has all these lines. <laughs> and then the date of what I did for service or leadership positions and I write down what I did, what my position was in that particular item and what the date was which is very very helpful because you always forget dates. My second one is grades. So this is all of my grades. It's kind of self-explanatory just so I don't lose my grades, lose what I had. So here like our district has a thing called Skyward. I don't know if everyone has it, but that has all of our past year's grades and classes all in a Skyward thing, which is fabulous. The next thing I have is sports. Um, now most people aren't sporty, and most people are. It's half and half. So if you're sporty, you have to write down every, it's the same columns. You write down the dates and what you were on what team what you did in the sport, and what was your position in the sport. This helps making resumes for colleges and scholarships way more easy and simple because you already have it written down. You don't have to try and remember everything. My next one is extracurricular activities, which means things that are after school, that you would participate in after school, which is fabulous because I always forget what I'm in, and so I'll just go back here and be like, oh, yeah, I was in that. Look how awesome I was. <laughs> and then my next and last tag is music. Um, so just, again, write down anything that you participated in that has to do with music. Like me, I did singing lessons, I teach singing lessons, and I piano lessons, guitar lessons, anything like that qualifies as music. So put that in there as anything that you're doing. Like I am taught, started singing, so teaching lessons in 2013. I don't remember which month, but this does. Um, then you just put 2013, and if it's still going, just leave it empty until you finish that certain skill. That way, when you're entering scholarships or anything else of that measurement, um, you have everything really nice and neat and organized. I'm not a really organized person, but this helps a ton. Next step that you should be putting in here is your ACT and SAT score, especially if you are taking it since most colleges require that field. I hope you guys have a great day and I hope this video actually helps some of you out. If it did, please push the thumbs up button. I know this is kind of a boring video, but you guys requested it and yeah, I hope it helped. <laughs> I hope, I wish people would 
put more scholarship things out there. So I hope you have a fabulous day, and I'll see you next week with another new video. Bye!